I just got back from the gym and a trip to Tesco's and I've got my admin slash worky day today, but I wanted to make some soup. I made this really nice soup the other day. It had butternut squash, carrot, onion, courgette, mushrooms, garlic, and shredded chicken thighs. And it was so incredibly delicious that I have to have it again. So I'm going to make that. It's a really wet and drizzly rainy day today. And it just feels like the perfect day to have some soup. So I'm going to do that. I'm also feeling a little bit sluggish. Just a quick disclaimer. It's a bit TMI, but I'm due my period soon. And I noticed like a week before my period, I get really hungry. I get really kind of like um, withdrawn where I don't really like being around too many people. I like to kind of like keep to myself and I like to keep quiet um, and have more quiet days and also I'm running on really low energy could be because I was up with my son he was up at half one three and then five so that's probably got a part to play in it as well but I'm gonna try and combat that and I'm gonna start my day off with a smoothie so that I can get some like nutrients in nice and early I'm also gonna have some eggs just for a little hit of protein after my workout and I like I mentioned, have been to Tesco, so I'll show you the bits that I picked up from there. I've just run out of a few things and needed to pick up a few bits for the soup. And I did get myself some chocolate chip cookies because I'm feeling kind of cravy. So I'm craving sugar and I'm craving something chocolatey and sweet. So I just let myself get some chocolate chip cookies. So it is what it is. I'm going to predominantly eat quite well today, so it's fine. But I used my new bag, which I did an unboxing of recently on my channel i'll um link it down below if you haven't seen it or it's in my handbag playlist but i did an unboxing let me hold it the right way i did an unboxing of this handbag and today is the first day that i've actually no it's not it's the second day i've worn it out and i absolutely love it you can fit so much stuff in here and it's just a beautiful bag and it's really comfortable on your shoulder as well like the strap is nice and comfortable you'll have to ignore this i've got like an oil stain on my top it's not dirty this is actually fresh out the wash but yeah this is my new handbag and I've been absolutely loving it at the moment. And then I've got my gym set on. This is from Timu, both the top and the bottoms. It's not a matching set, I got them separately, but they kind of go pretty well together. On the website, they're labeled as gray, but actually, in my opinion, it's more of a kind of like grayish purple. But I absolutely love these leggings, especially they fit so, so nicely. But I think I'm gonna actually get changed into some comfy clothes. I'm gonna crack on with my smoothie and my eggs. And then I'm gonna sit and watch maybe like 10 minutes of TV and then I'm gonna get on with the soup and crack on with some work. I also finally have my bangs down. I haven't had my fringe down in a really long time. If you've been watching my vlogs, especially recently, I've had my hair kind of like slick back a lot in like a high pony with just like a plait in the back because I've just not wanted to look at the fringe until it had grown out a little bit and it's grown really well. This is kind of like how I envisioned it. This is the length that I wanted. I wouldn't even mind it a little bit longer so that I can really like flick it out to the sides. But from this point onwards, it's just only gonna get better and better. And then obviously it's just kind of like maintaining it and trimming it. But yeah, I wanted to kind of like wear my hair down today and have my fringe showing just to kind of like see if I've had any hair growth really as well, which I definitely do think I have had. It's definitely getting there, but I have got a long way to go. At least it's at a point now where I can have it tucked behind my back, which is kind of what I really wanted. I like the look of my hair behind my shoulders. And yeah, I haven't had my fringe down in a while, so I'm really loving it. I'm super excited to finally be able to style it in the way that I want to now that it's grown out a little bit. And actually, I think it's grown relatively fast considering that it wasn't that long ago that I cut it in. I cut it in in January around sort of like my birthday. I think it was just after my birthday. Yeah, so I think it's maybe been like a month. And if you remember before, this part was so high. It was like up here. And now this is with it a bit curled as well. It's relatively low, so I'm really happy with that. This is probably really boring. So you can skip past this bit if you don't wanna see, but I just wanna show you the bits that I picked up from Tesco's. So I got the white grape and black berry. I nearly said black currant then. Blackberry sparkling water. This just goes in smoothies. If you haven't tried like a sparkling flavored water in your smoothies, definitely give it a go because it is just, it just makes it so much sweeter and just really yummy. Next up, I got 
one of my son's favorite snacks, which is just crackers. He absolutely loves crackers. Crackers with butter on, crackers with jam, crackers with honey. He just loves crackers, but he specifically likes the Tesco's own ones, the salt and pepper ones, and they are very Moorish. I like them too. Got some red onions to put in to the soup. For smoothies, I have most of the stuff for my smoothies, but I just wanted to get some more apples and pears to pop in. I got the Tesco chocolate chip cookies. These ones looked really, really good. I could have got the Molly's ones, but the Molly's ones looked like they didn't have as many chocolate chips in. There we go. Yeah, I might have one of these now, actually. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. My trouble is that I don't know when to stop. Like I have really bad portion control. This is why I kind of try and avoid eating things like this because I can't stop at one or two. I will probably eat half the pack or I'll eat until I feel sick, which is definitely not a good thing. Next up, I got some chicken thighs for the soup, some courgette. So I got this for the soup, but I also like to make courgette fritters, which is literally just courgette, flour and an egg. And you mix it up and it's basically like little courgette pancakes. They're absolutely delicious. Got some naked bars. These are the Bakewell tart ones. Me and my son absolutely love these. Got some sultanas. I like to add these into my muesli in the morning. My muesli does have raisins in, I think, but they don't have enough. And I just grab the sultanas just because they're cheaper than like the flame raisins. They're literally like half the price. Then I just got some baby wash because my son has, I mean, I don't even know what age do you start using more grown-up wash for your children like my son's three and a half and I still use baby washing him because he seems to have like decently sensitive skin I have used like a dove bar soap on him before when I didn't have any other option and he ended up coming out in a rash so I like to stick to the Fred and flow baby wash it's just the head to toe wash and um it's fine on his skin absolutely fine I've got a blooming blood blister now where I was setting up my <laughs> tripod it pinged and pinched me, so now I can feel that. Yeah, he has this thing at the moment where he likes to play with things like my shaving foam that I use for my legs. He likes to play with that and kind of like foam it up, but he'll literally like go through a whole can of it. And then this, he likes to just pour into his hands and then make like a ton of bubbles, then he'll wash it off and then he'll do it again and again. So he goes through stuff like that so, so quickly. I got some honey. This I like to put on my cereal. Also, I put this on my son's yogurt because he has plain sugar-free yogurt. And then I just put a little bit of honey on. And then I also have honey in my coffee. I've got crumpets because my son pretty much has crumpets every single morning for breakfast. He loves crumpets with jam. And to go with that, I got some jam. Now, obviously jam is jam packed full of sugar. So I get the less sugar one. This is the Streamline Less Sugar Strawberry Jam and I get it from obviously Tesco's, but they sell out of this all the time. The amount of times that I've gone to get this and it's not been there is so frustrating because the main ingredient in jam is sugar, which is just crazy. Because you would kind of think that it would be a healthy thing because it's fruit, but actually very unhealthy. So yeah, I'm gonna put all of this away, make my eggs and make a smoothie. Oh, and get changed. Aside from the work that I have to get on with today, I'm also thinking of switching up my nails. So they're this just kind of like really nice, pretty, very simple nude color. But I'm seeing red nails all over the place and it's making me want red nails. So I'm potentially gonna do my nails red. I also need to paint my toenails because I haven't painted my toenails in a really long time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today. We'll see what the time is when I've done my hands and then see if I have time for my feet. But um, if you haven't seen my Timu haul, how cute is this ring? It's like the Cartier Love ring dupe and it's made out of stainless steel. So it's like good quality. It's gold plated stainless steel, really good quality. And I think it was definitely less than three pounds. But yeah, if you haven't seen my Timu haul, then go and check it out. Cause I found some really good pieces in that one. Mm, okay.
Okay, so I've kind of tucked myself away. I've got like my little poof, my little pink kind of like suede poof from my bedroom and I've just covered it with just like a random blanket that I don't mind getting dirty. But I'm going to file off my old gel polish just with my little drill bit and then I'm going to use this polish. It's the Ailsa, I think, A-I-L-L-S-A -L -L gel polish in the shade 11. It's so beat up and dirty but this is honestly like my favorite red color and then i'm just going to seal it in with the amelie no wipe top coat this is one of my favorites and i use this again and again and again i've got a little brush as well which i use to kind of like go around my cuticle area and around the sides of my nails just to make sure that the red doesn't go onto my skin and i don't cure it onto my skin and then i've just got a nail file as well so yeah i'm gonna crack on and get my nails done <laughs> my nose that's just from where my glasses have been sitting but I put them on my head so that you can see me because the reflection of kind of like the lights means that you won't really be able to see me very well but I just wanted to show you the finished nails I did like short square ones but I shortened them after I painted them they were long and then I painted them and I was like I just feel like they look they just didn't suit me I thought I either want rounded red nails or shorter square ones and because they were already square i kind of only had the option to like shorten them down a bit and i did that after they were painted so the shape of them doesn't look very good just because like i said i filed them down after they were painted but these will do for like the next week and a half until i can be bothered to paint them again but i'm thinking that i'm just going to go back to my tried and true like rounded slash almond shaped nails just because i think it suits my hands a little bit better because I have kind of like short stumpy fingers um but I mean they're not bad they're just I don't know what do we think I just love the look of red nails and like at a distance I feel like they look really good I'm also starting to look really haggard now I'm starting to look quite tired but I think I'm going to take my makeup off now and cook the chicken soup just because my son's going to be home soon and I still haven't done it so yeah that took a little bit longer than I was expecting to do my nails just because obviously I had to change it up a couple of times so Ooh, this has just been the most bizarre day but then somebody did say to me it's a leap year today so maybe that's the reason why I'm feeling like a little bit out of sorts today because I've just had no energy whatsoever today and I was the same yesterday I just felt like such a hermit crab I didn't want to go anywhere I didn't want to be around anyone not in like an antisocial like sad depressed way just like a couldn't be bothered to leave the apartment kind of way i did leave the apartment but literally only just to go to the shop to get a chocolate brownie because i was craving a chocolate brownie so i literally just took my son up to the shop and that was at like half two in the afternoon so i'd been in all day and that was the only time that i got out so yeah i got out had a walk got a brownie um but i think i'm gonna make some warm nutritious dinner I'm I'm really feeling that soup and before anyone judges me I'm sharing this because I'm hoping you won't judge me I ate that whole packet of cookies oh my goodness and I didn't even feel sick afterwards I probably could have eaten another like five ten cookies but yeah I ate them all so smoothies ready to go I just need to blend there I've got two oranges in there I've got one pear, one apple, two lemons, and some grapes. I usually put ginger in there as well, but I don't have any at the moment. I went to the fridge yesterday and it was actually um, moldy. And then I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of this in and then blitz it up. I 
So I've got my chicken thighs. I'm just going to cover these with tin foil and then cook them in the oven while I cook the soup on the hob. And usually what I do is I cook the soup separately and then I'll shred the chicken and then add it into the soup. so it's a new day and it's a really wet and dreary day but I really want to get out not early early it's only like 9 a.m. but I want to get Bubs ready he's just sitting here on the sofa just watching a little show while I was hoovering and just picking up the apartment a little bit so we've got like a nice tidy home to come back to but yeah I think I'm gonna take him to the library and I have to get a couple of bits in town nothing like too dramatic just like washing up liquid um some more hairspray and yeah just a couple of things like that but i think i showed you yesterday my finished nails but i actually ordered some um like of the what are they called like the gel tip things um ordered them from amazon yesterday because i don't have any left and i'm not loving this shape so i'm going to redo them and i'm going to do them rounded or almond but yeah, I'll probably do that over the weekend because today is Friday. So yeah, I'll probably do it over the weekend just because I don't really have too, too many plans this weekend. My car is booked in for a service tomorrow. So usually I take my son to go and see my sister because we have kids the same age. So I'm just probably going to do my nails over the weekend and maybe just have like a cozy weekend in with my son. Um, maybe do a roast on Sunday because who doesn't love a Sunday roast, especially while the weather's kind of like icky like this. But yeah, we're going to head to the library and to town and then later this evening I'm actually going out for dinner with my friend we're going to this place called Amigos which is an incredible Mexican restaurant in the town that I live it's so incredibly delicious I've been there a few times like with family and friends and also I've been there with like my work lot that I used to work with back when I worked in finance and it's never disappointed so I'm really excited I haven't seen this friend since September when um, it was my son's birthday so it's gonna be really nice she's the friend that i actually mentioned in my galentine's video the friend that i don't get to see her that often but when we do reconnect it's literally like no time has passed at all she's honestly one of the most incredible friends that i've ever had in my entire life we've been friends since um we were at school together and she actually started off as my sister's friend and then me and her sort of just had like a little bit more in common so we sort of connected and then we've been friends ever since and yeah, she's just an amazing, amazing woman. She always like is so thoughtful, really takes the time and effort, like especially with my son. She's never missed one of his birthday parties. Like she was on holiday in France and she came back and literally came straight to his birthday party from the airport after she'd been on holiday, which was just so kind and sweet. She even like wrapped his birthday present in the car mm. on the way over. So I've just got so much love for her. She's absolutely incredible. So I'll try and vlog a little bit later. I'm not obviously gonna put her on camera, but yeah i'll try and show you like amigos because it's a really nice place it's like the restaurant is actually upstairs so um yeah it's like decorated really cute as well and their food is absolutely amazing their fajitas are just next level so so good so yeah i'm really excited for later i'm meeting her at about 5 40. also last night i actually ordered a new camera so i'm hoping that that's going to be here by the end of the week and i want to know whether or not there's any difference my arms aching i want to know if there's any difference to the video quality using this new camera i'll obviously show you like when it arrives i'll unbox it for you and i also ordered 
a handbag because I'm doing a handbag dupe video. I found an incredible Pauline handbag dupe. It's honestly like next level. It's so, so similar. And it's like a fraction of the price. It's only like 33.99, I think. So I can't wait to do that video. And then I also ordered some like beigey nude over the ear headphones just because I feel like they're better for me to use in the gym rather than earbuds. I have earbuds that I use. They're not like AirPods or anything like that. They're just from Amazon, but they're not really good. They're kind of like good for using around the home, but not good for using in the gym because I usually when I go to bed, like I'll just put one in my ear and I'll listen to something. But when I'm in the gym, if I wear both, every now and again, the sound will go out of one of them. And when you're trying to work out, especially when you're like lifting heavy weights, it makes you feel kind of like off balance when the sound dips out of like one of the earbuds so yeah i think i'm just gonna have like the over the ear ones for like the gym and maybe like editing my videos and stuff like that i'm not really sure but i'm really excited to get them they're super super cute i also had a delivery notification from amazon yesterday letting me know that i had a sweatshirt delivered <clears throat> that i had ordered from amazon they're the best sweatshirts um, like really inexpensive and really good quality. They're from the brand Fruit of the Loom. I've had a few of them now and I just get like the men's sweatshirts. But I ordered one yesterday and it said that it was delivered, but it didn't get delivered to me. So God knows where that's gone. I've had to like chase that up today. So yeah, I really wanted to show you guys, but never mind. I guess I'll have to show you like later or if it gets replaced or if it ends up turning up i've actually got my contact lenses in from my ibb these are the boho brown ones i put these ones in today specifically because i wanted my eyes to look more like my natural eye color just like a brown i didn't want anything like too standout ish but i did want to wear contact lenses today especially because i'm going out for dinner i didn't want to have to wear my glasses so yeah i also put in my earrings that i got from timu which are in my recent timu haul if you haven't seen that then check that out because there were some amazing pieces that I got from that haul but yeah these are the earrings these just like gold huggies with this faux dangly little pearl I think they're so so pretty but yeah I'm gonna finish getting dressed because I'm only half dressed I'm only dressed from like the top up and then the bottom I've got like pajamas on so I'm gonna get myself dressed I'm gonna get bubs dressed and then we're gonna head off into town I also think it's time to change my sheets I'm gonna change from the green to the white ones that I got from dusk with the white piping I did pick up some new pillow cases to match because if you'd have seen my previous video then you'll know that the pillow cases didn't seem to come with the duvet cover you had to buy them separately see so yeah, I just got some plain white ones from Amazon so yeah I'm probably going to give the bed a quick refresh and then I'll head out and then hopefully the weather's maybe simmered down a little bit because it is so windy and so rainy I don't mind it being rainy and I don't mind it being windy but the two together is just bedlam finished result it looks really good but it looks so creased and it doesn't look this creased in person it looks more creased on camera it also doesn't look as white on camera it's so white in person and like a really crisp stark white I absolutely love these pillowcases they are 100% Egyptian cotton and I love the fact that they've got this extra kind of like trim around the outside it just makes them look so much more luxe and actually bigger than they are um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. But if anybody has any suggestions for a steamer that's affordable but good, please let me know down in the comment section because as you can see, my bedspread is in desperate need of a steam. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Like I say, it just needs a little bit of a steam to get the wrinkles out. But other than that, I think it looks really good. And I'm just so obsessed with the new bed. I got my parcel that went missing last night. I just got another <laughs> delivery. This is like the remainder of my Timu parcel that I was talking about yesterday that I'll show you in just one second. But when Royal Mail delivered that, this was sitting on the front door. So obviously wherever it got delivered, they bought it to me. So I thought I'd show you this really quickly. So this is the sweatshirt that I picked up from Amazon. Like I said, it's the Fruit of the Loom brand. And it's just a plain, 
oversized grey sweatshirt, which I absolutely love. I get like the men's ones and I get them in like a large because I love like a huge oversized sweatshirt. I might even wear that today because I've got leggings on, so I might wear that. Then the rest of my Timu order, there's only three pieces that were missing from my order. So I'm excited to share them with you because some of the bits that I was most looking forward to seeing. So, the first thing was a pair of slippers. These are just some house slippers and I thought I would get some like open toe ones because obviously with spring and summer approaching, I wanna have something on my feet but I don't want them to get too hot because I hate the feeling of like hot sweaty feet so they literally just look like that. They feel really squishy. I'm just a bit confused why, is that the right way? The material on the inside looks like that. It's thrown me a little bit. It kind of looks, I think it looks weird personally. And I don't really feel like they look like that on the website, but I'll try them on. And then they've just got like a hard kind of like foamy rubbery kind of sole. Then I got a fragrance. I haven't tried any fragrances from Timu before. So I was intrigued. And this one looks like a little Coco Chanel one. So I'm intrigued and excited to try this out and see what it smells like. Because I've tried a hand cream from Timu before and it honestly smelled like rotten eggs. So things that have a scent, I haven't got high hopes for. So if this is nice, I will be really, really pleasantly surprised. But I was very intrigued, especially for the price. So this is the bottle, it's glass as well, it's not like plastic, so really pretty, really good quality. Moment of truth, let's have a go. It's nice, it's like a very clean scent. Kind of reminds me of something that my nan would wear. But I'm not mad at it. And then the last thing that I got is a makeup removing balm, just because I use a face cloth to remove my makeup most of the time, like one of those makeup removing cloths. But I just thought I wanted something a little bit more gentle on my skin so that I'm not like pulling and tugging at it consistently. So I wanted something that was gonna kind of like melt my makeup off. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So it comes with a little scoop at the top. Very cute. And then you open it up and it looks like this. And I think this is, it's Peach Snow Sand Makeup Remover Cream. So I'll have to keep you posted. It's not got the strongest scent, but it's just got this like balm on it. Oh, that feels really nice. My finger literally just like slid across that, like butter on hot toast. I'm hoping that that works. I'll use that tonight maybe in the bath. That's kind of like my favorite way to remove my makeup is in the bath just because I can use like warm water and obviously like rub it all off. But yeah, I'm really happy with those bits. I haven't gone out yet. I said I was gonna go and it's been like an hour and a half for the pure and simple fact that I knew that those parcels were coming. So I wanted to wait in. I've also got another one slash two parcels coming today. It's either one today and one tomorrow or two today. So I've got a candle being delivered. It's actually a gifted candle from a company called the Suffolk Cat. I think it's called the Suffolk Candle Company. I can't remember off the top of my head. I've had their candles before and they are the most intense smelling, good quality, beautiful scented candles. And they have the most interesting scents as well. They have things like bookshop. They have, um, they have I think like tea, they have blood orange. They have, um, oh, old bookshop is the scent. I've had that one before. But this time round, which is so, so kind, but I went for fireplace this time. I thought that would be perfect because I'm actually starting to run out of candles and I don't want to burn the one that I made because I want to use that for like 
decorative purposes, like the one that I made on my Galentine's evening. So I'm really excited to get that because I've got a feeling that it's gonna smell absolutely incredible. I'm gonna, excuse my child, I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but I'm gonna try this sweatshirt on really quickly. I know that they're gonna fit and be really comfy because I've had probably maybe six Fruit of the Loom sweatshirts now and I just alternate colors really. I've had gray, white, you can get them in a ton of colors, black, maroon, green, all sorts. But this is that um, Timu sports bra as well. I've just put it on because it's just so darn comfortable. It's really, really nice. Um, let me come back a little bit further so you can see. I've got, yes, deodorant on it. Uh, we'll move past that, but I love the back of it. And yeah, like I say, it's just so, so comfortable because I find regular bras really uncomfortable. Oh, these sweatshirts, especially like when it's their first on, are so fluffy on the inside. I'm gonna try and get it on without getting makeup on the <laughs> neck. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I probably could have gone for one size bigger actually, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I love how big it is on the arms, but I do feel like it could be a bit more slouchy and a bit longer, but it's fine. I think I went for a large, maybe I could go for an extra large next time, but yeah, I really like it. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? What's that noise? It's getting you all excited. What's happening? You have to ignore the fact that I've got just like my gym socks on, but these slippers are actually super comfortable. So I don't know, I'm torn whether or not to keep them because I don't really like, I thought they were going to be all black. Hello, Squish. But, um, yeah, they're super comfy. I'll make sure you don't fall off, my love. the milk chocolate and the white chocolate melted and I'm gonna mix them together in the dish and then kind of like swirl them together with a toothpick and then I'll put the mini eggs in. Good. You like it? Then we've got our crushed up mini That's eggs. For Mama. What, baby? I guess. Can I have some mini eggs? Where's the mini eggs? Have some mini eggs. They're all in here, crushed up. I apologise about the lighting, it's quite dark now, I'm about to head out for dinner, but my candle just arrived, so I just wanted to quickly unbox it and show you guys. So this is the box that it comes in, we've got a little card, 
then it's also got a little tester in here. That's a really clever marketing idea. So this is their bookshop, I think. Yeah, their bookshop scent, which I've already had, so I know what this smells like. But that's really clever. Mm, love that smell. And then it just looks like that comes in this little kind of like, is it like burlap? Not sure. Oh, I've just ripped off the tag. They cut, they all come with these really cute tags like this that just say Suffolk candles. And then we've got fireplace plant-based candle. So these have a really good burn time. I've had mine for so, so long. Oof. This reminds me of back when I used to spend a lot of time with my grandma at her previous house before she had her final house before she died. She had a log fire that she would always like, especially around like Christmas time, we'd always have the fire going and this smells exactly like that fireplace. Mm, that smells absolutely incredible. So if you are interested in any of these candles, I will make sure to leave a link down in the description box for you so you can shop them yourself. They um, sell on their own website. They also sell on Amazon, which is where I got this one from. So I'm really happy with that and I cannot wait to burn it.